By all accounts, Tyler Clemente was a gifted violinist. His violin teacher, five years, spoke to us in an early show exclusive. He, 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 he was a quiet person, and uh, but when he picked up his violin, it was a different story. Jumping off the GW bridge, sorry. Tyler's life ended that night 200 feet below in the Hudson River. A death that sparked a chain reaction, generating a media and cultural firestorm. If you are someone who is being picked on or bullied or called names. I am devastated over the death of 18-year-old Tyler Clementi. If you don't know, Tyler was a bright student at Rutgers University whose life was senselessly cut short. He was outed as being gay on the internet and he killed himself. Something must be done. It's bias intimidation. Those counts could get him up to 10 years in state prison. What did it mean to you that he was gay? It didn't mean anything, it was just, in, it was just an interesting fact. Is it safe to say to invade his privacy? Well, yes, but okay. But so they did yes or no, ain't a but. Roommate asked for the room till midnight. I went into Molly's room and turned on my webcam. I saw him making out with a dude. Yay. I guess the question comes down to you. Did you violate this man's privacy? Yes, I did. Okay, and you did it deliberately. No, I didn't do it deliberately. Anyone with iChat, I dare you to video chat me between the hours of 9.30 p.m. till midnight. Yes, it's happening again. No one, no one, no one thinks Darun Ravi is a good guy. Darun Ravi is a scumbag. A first-rate son of a bitch. He writes, I feel that my privacy has been violated and I am extremely uncomfortable sharing a room with someone who would act in this wildly inappropriate manner. What I really believe is that Darhoon should receive a huge amount of community service within the gay community. Just a huge, a buttload of community service. That way we could teach Darhoon uh, and, 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 and he could learn from this experience. And also in the process, I think we would learn a lot as well uh, about forgiveness. If everybody that's been embarrassed or joke, the joke was so bad that they couldn't show their face tomorrow, or they thought they couldn't show their face the next day, and they killed themselves, we wouldn't have nobody here right now. It wouldn't be nobody here. Everybody has gone through this. If pranking people on the basis of what every prank is often involved, which can often be bigotry and all sorts of things, if that is now 10 years in prison, then half the country is going to have to be locked up. The money and the effort that's going to be put in producing and specials and other shows and the and seriousness of bullying and cyberbullying because I don't think it's that bad. If we have hate crimes laws at all, you have to enforce them. And he he tar targeted Tyler Clemente because he was gay. What is it? Is it the parents not teaching them? Or these kids are just dumb? It's not about this kid being gay. It's about people who call themselves friends that prank somebody to the point of death. You asked the, his brother about that, his brother James about that. I just want to play, play what he said. I think he was being brave by being honest with the people around him about his sexuality and um, and I think he, he really tried to be uh, a strong person and be an honest person, but um, it seems like he was punished for that forthrightness. We don't know ultimately what broke Tyler Clemente. It feels like Robbie is being sacrificed for the sins of all when it really is our entire culture and no lessons have really been learned. No parent wants to see his or her kid be the next Donald Robbie and potentially spend time in jail. That is the lesson that this case will have for society. Jarhoon may be suffering from repressed uh, homosexuality. So us, as poets, speak in his memory, speak the words he couldn't find. So us, poets. Why else would you go out of your way to film your roommate having gay sex? unless somehow, somewhere, deep inside you, you were interested about this. Fuck you, don't judge me. Fuck you, don't judge me. Fuck you, don't judge me. If he had gotten through that night and that, you know, that dark hour, I think a day or a week or a year later, he would have looked back and been grateful that he didn't do it.